Hi, Vintage Stereo Buff here. Today I have a new turntable. I decided to stimulate the economy with my $600 stimulus check. I have two other turntables that are good and have good cartridges, but about three years ago I started using tube amps, and my tube amps don't have any built-in phono sections. So what I had to do was buy a separate preamp to hook to them and between my amp and my turntables. The trouble was I kept getting a hum and no matter what I did I couldn't get rid of the hum and I discovered they were coming from the little preamps I bought. So I hadn't been able to listen to records for about three years. So Right before Christmas, I went and bought myself a new present. This is a music hall classic. Uh, I never had a good turntable. Just kind of mediocre. And I decided I should get a better one. And I was looking to spend about $300 on a turntable. I thought I could get a decent one. But everything that had the features uh, that was like the one I wanted they were all sold out and there was one that was from music hall which is supposed to be a really good brand but it was sold out but they did have this one the classic and it was six hundred dollars which is a little more than i was planning on spending but i thought well what the hell i'm getting a stimulus check anyway so i went ahead and got it and it was six hundred dollars total and it's just strictly a manual turntable. You put your, you have to put the, rec, the tone arm on yourself. It has a cueing control. But when it gets to the end of the record, it does shut, shut the platter off and raises the tone arm. But you do have to take and put it back over there by yourself. And it's belt drive. But that's exactly what I wanted. I don't like auto, automatic turntables. And I've been playing it for about three weeks now. Works really well. Uh, I have the tracking set at 1.7 grams. Uh, it came set at 2, but I found I could track it a little bit lighter. That's caused a little less wear on the records. Anyway, let me turn it around. So you can see the back. Like a lot of new stuff, it doesn't come with a regular power cord like an old equipment used to have. It has one of these little, like what I call a wall wart. That's what it uses. It plugs into the wall and then that's a lower voltage that goes into here. Then, like I said, it has a built-in... RIAA equalized preamp in it so you can use it with uh, I can use it with my tube equipment that doesn't have a phono section and just there's a little switch to switch it from line to phono and one thing I don't really care for it is the the main power switch to turn it on is on the back so it's slightly inconvenient I have to reach behind it to flip it on but that's really no big deal. I've played about 50 of my old albums on it, and I was surprised at how good a lot of those old albums sounded. It seems to sound better than my other two turntables do. I guess maybe my others may have uh, worn stylus on them, because the one has a sure v15 type 3 cartridge which is supposed to be a very very good cartridge but this does seem to sound better than my old turntable so i guess i will i would recommend buying one of these if you want a turntable it's a really nice unit anyway vintage stereo above out